So now that we have the image in SketchUp, we can begin to trace. And just as with the column where we were tracing on a plane to keep everything nice and lined up, we're going to trace right on this image so that we can keep everything nicely aligned. So you can see, we're going to start with the arch itself. You can see in the drawing that there is I'm just following the red axis here. There's sort of a dividing point between the straight vertical, right, and, and the curve above it. I'm going to delete the inner plane here. And in fact, this should come down farther because it's actually about yay tall. You can see as I drag it over, it snaps to that other point, which is nice. So that everything is nice and square along the axes. You don't need that. So how do we get these pretty arches? Well, you could just use the curve tool and sort of approximate it. And that would work. Um, but if we want to be true to what the Gothic stonemasons were up to, the best thing to do is do it the same way they did, which is geometrically. So we begin by dividing this top line segment into four segments. So now there are four endpoints, three endpoints, one, two, three. And each of these endpoints just so happens to be the center of the arc that makes up this arch. So we're not going to drag it to here because we want it to line up exactly with our vertical. We're going to drag it to here. And at this moment, before I touch anything else, I'd like a smoother circle. So I'm going to type 60s to go with 60 segments. And now I'm going to start from this other endpoint and bring it right over here. And as you can see, we're, we now have the complete arch. Don't need all these pieces. Don't really need this piece. In fact, we don't need these four segments anymore. We just need the arch itself. So now we have a pathway that our cross-section will follow.